Rufus and Doofus. It's Chico here again, and Rufus is here by my side. But I don't think he can see him in the camera yet. But mark my word, he's going to hit the table that the camera's on and make the, the video go rattle, rattle, rattle. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the last couple of videos I put up. I think you did. I got some great comments. And uh, I'm glad that all of you took the uh, video for the spirit in which it was met which was great okay um, today's a beautiful day a little windy so taking the opportunity to do the wind the video outside obviously with my cowboy hat now that I have that cowboy blood infused in me so what have I got to show you guys today well one of my best friends that I made over the internet his name is Craig and he lives in Islip, New York. Uh, he and I have been in communication on the internet, uh, or I should say on Skype and on a telephone, from the very first days that I was sick. And actually before that we were friends. But from the very first day I was sick, he was, he was on the internet with me and very supportive, extremely supportive. Um, he made two great suggestions to me actually three and I'm going to suggest all of them to you guys because I found them to be uh, extremely helpful uh, and lived up to all of the things that he said about them so without further ado let me tell you what they are now as you guys know I've been having problems with my feet uh, probably due to neuropathy uh, the doctors told me that or think, they think that it's not due to diabetes, but due to circulation problems. So uh, they are working on trying to improve my circulation, which hopefully will get rid of the neuropathy Rufus. Stop that, which is very comfortable. Now you know, like there's 12 acres of land out here, Rufus, and you got Rufus. You're hitting the table, buddy. Come on. I mean, he's got to hang out all this land, and he's right here next to the table. I'm telling you, what do you get with a loving dog? A lot of attention right near you. So let me tell you what, what we've got here. Um, my feet, obviously, are very uncomfortable, and it always feels like I have something on. Uh, I don't know why. It's just that feeling that you get with the neuropathy. They're numb. Uh, they're, they're itchy. They're, I don't know... There's a million things they are. They're burning. Uh, I can't describe it all. Just uh, let it suffice to say that they're very uncomfortable. Okay? So, yes, we're doing another video on, on my situation and the discomfort. But what I'm trying to do is also show situ uh, cures or help for this situation if somebody out there is experiencing it such as myself there goes Rufus finally okay he found himself a place to relax I like that and he's yap yap yapping at flies he's fun to watch so let me introduce what uh, Greg told me to get all right and I had never heard of these things I I'm so behind in the fashion industry that I just don't know one thing from another but I'm sure that you guys have heard of these things. They're called Uggs. U-G-G-S. All right, Uggs. What a name for a shoe. I thought right away, ugly. Well, I guess they're not the prettiest thing in the world. Ugly would work. But guess what? They are the most comfortable thing in the world. So, let me take one off. This, my friends, is an Ugg. All right? And it even says... Ugg right there on the back and it's made out of this one here particular one is suede and I believe I read that they have been treated for um, uh, to keep them waterproof to some extent that doesn't mean that you can't go and get yourself some scotch guard and make them even waterproof more waterproof the nice thing about this shoe is it's actually not a shoe it's a slipper okay very flexible um, and inside is a lamb's wool 
and if you can look in there, all right, it's pretty thick. And when you put this shoe on at first, it's supposed to feel a little tight, and then it forms to your foot. And after that, you won't want to wear anything else. And I'll vouch for that. I mean, I couldn't believe, you know, okay, Greg, you're going to recommend something here. It's going to be a slipper, and I'm going to wear it all day. Well, maybe inside, but I don't think I'll be tempted to wear it out. Well, guess what? Wow, was I wrong. I went into Walmarts with this shoe. I went to the doctor's appointment with this shoe. I went to the car night with John with this shoe. I went to Vinny's Pizza, ate my face full of pizza and wings with this shoe. Nobody ever noticed it. And anybody who did said, wow, those are nice shoes. And I said, ha, they're nice slippers. May I correct that? In any case, very well made, good stitching and such. But I think the secret that lets you wear it outside is this really nice sole. It's almost the same sole that you'd find on a uh, on a track shoe, you know. Um, really, really, really well made and very comfortable. Now, one drawback when you order it: these babies do not run true to size. In other words, my my foot uh, normally when I was healthy and before all this crap I took a nine and a half after that with a little bit of swelling and such my foot was grew to a 10 all right and my head shrank so my hat fits <laughs> thought I'd bring that up again well in any case uh, the nine and a half didn't work so, uh, was my size so I ordered a 10 in this shoe well let me tell you something there was no way I was getting my foot into a 10. So um, it was just funny because I happened to mention to Greg, I said, geez, I got the shoes size 10, but no way is my foot going in there. And Greg, knowing a little bit about shoes, I believe uh, his father or something was a shoe salesman, he said, go to a size 12. Uh, and they normally, they, I didn't see any half sizes on this. But I did see width on some sites and no width on others. So I don't know if they offer width differences. In this particular case, uh, Amazon sold it and I clicked on it and it was a size 12 wide, all right? I got them in the mail two days later. Can you believe that? I, I, I barely got the return in before they shipped out a brand new pair of, uh, of Uggs. Yeah. So. I can't say enough about the shoe, and I can't say enough about Amazon service. Now, as far as the shoe goes, I haven't taken it off since I got it. Yeah, not taking it off. I wear it all day long inside. I wear it all day long outside, shopping, no matter where I go. It slips on very easily and slips off just as easily and something's wrong with my mouth because I keep spitting. So uh, I think I better stay far away from people. I don't get that. Why am I spitting all of a sudden? Something new every day when you get old. But in any case, I really love these things. And I can't speak highly enough about them. Thank you, Craig, for uh, um, recommending these because these are definitely going to be um, a shoe that's going to be on my foot probably for the rest of my life. They make different types too. So. You know, you're not stuck with one style, color, and that's it. So that's it for today. That's all I wanted to say. I wanted to do it outside. I hope you saw Rufus uh, snapping at a few uh, flies. And uh, he, I'll tell you what, he will not rest if there's a fly in the RV. Unfortunately, I wish he was just as diligent with spiders. Holy smokes. Two nights in a row, or no, one night we skipped. But one night... This big old spider, I thought it was a mouse, ran across the floor. Holy smokes, scared the you-know-what's out of me. Then he disappeared, and then he showed up on my computer screen while I was running the computer. Whoa! I didn't like that. Nope, didn't like that at all. And um, uh, then he ended up on my wallet. If I can, I'll try to put a picture at the end of this video of this nasty spider. 
Well, don't another one show up on my ceiling two nights later. I mean, I wanted to put a for sale uh, sign on a rig. You know, spiders are free and uh, sell the rig. I wanted out of there with those spiders. But John said he was going to spray around here and uh, get rid of them. Apparently, he's got something that kills them. I'm all for that. So, that's it, my friends. I'm outside. I'm loving it. Rufus is over there snapping flies. I'm over here swatting flies. What can I tell you? It's just a lot of flies. And that's it from Arizona. Chico and Rufus. Hasta luego. Goodbye. Arrivederci. Ci vediamo un altro giorno. And stay tuned for the cooking. I think we're going to attempt sausage and peppers in the cooker. Nothing fancy. We're just going to cut the sausage up. Not even leave it in whole lengths. And we're going to cut some peppers and onions and a little bit of garlic, a little bit of uh, olive oil, olio d'oliva, and uh, I think we should be set for a nice little either sausage and uh, pepper stew or maybe a little sausage and pepper on a small little, uh, little sandwich. I think it's going to be delicious, and I hope you guys come along for the ride when we do it in our brand new pressure cooker. All right, guys. See you later. Ciao.